did you ever at all think that it was going to get this big, that you'd be here decades later meeting with fans that are lining up at this house, still celebrating it? There was no concept of how this could expand uh, into such a cultural phenomenon. So well, how did you know that, um, or what about the, the script or the plot or the timing just felt right to you? The script, the script is what matters. So for A Christmas Story Christmas, you know, there were a bunch of sequels um, discussed for many, many years mm -hmm. and the story wasn't there. And the great thing is Peter was really the cornerstone to making this happen or not. And um, when the script wasn't there, he was not willing to sign on, and neither was I. Really good film. I'm very proud of it. Where I'm pr very proud of everybody in it. They they kicked butt. I got the role of Scott Farkas, who yeah. really only had a few lines. Nah, your Aunt Tilly, get over here. And then I met Bob Clark for the first time because my auditions had been on tape a brand new invention called VHS tape. Very exciting. It's gonna <laughs> take the world by storm, you watch. It. Um, so I had not met him in person. And then when I got on set, he saw me and there's me and there's Yato and I who plays Grover Dill. I'm about a foot taller than him back then. And he swaps our roles. Do you own a leg lamp? I did. <laughs> it was a big leg lamp. It was beautiful. And then the bulb <laughs> inside the lamp went out and I tried oh, no. to fix it myself and I destroyed it. Have you ever gotten your tongue stuck to a pole? No, I'm not an idiot. So uh, <laughs> I grew up in Toronto, Canada, and we were well warned about this. What is your favorite Christmas movie besides this one? Highlander and Die Hard. Here's the thing with Alzheimer's and dementia, it uh, sucks. It's horrible. It's a nightmare experience, not only for the person who's going through it, but for their family, their friends, the infrastructure. It is terrifying. And I speak from experience. My father has it. Uh, I really hate it. And the best thing I can do to murder this disease is to raise the money to kick its booty and also to help the people have the support structure, everybody who's going through the process of taking care of someone they love.